Uh, my name is Christian Droppo. I have a, uh, my background is neurophysiology, brain research. Uh, but what I'm doing right now is essentially stem cell research, studying uh, and investigating various plants for their effect on stem cells. The reason why there's such a focus on stem cells today, it's because everybody understands that adult stem cells have enormous regenerative potential. You go on the internet, you go anywhere, and you can read how stem cells from the bone marrow or stem cells extracted from the blood, from, from fat tissue, can be manipulated, re-injected in, in the body, and with great benefits to human health. But the point that is never talked about is that these stem cells are in your body to begin with. They're not better because you take them out and put them back in. So to me, it begs the question, what is the natural role of stem cells in the body? And science is telling us right now very clearly, over, with over 15 years of research, stem cells constitute the natural repair system of the body. And there's a direct link between how many stem cells you have in your blood and the ability of the body to stay healthy, to repair and stay healthy. More stem cells in circulation means that more stem cells are available to participate to this natural process of tissue repair. So the mission of Stem Regen is that we have a product that by taking it every day, every day you put more stem cells in circulation. So it becomes a way of tapping into the enormous potential of adult stem cells by anybody anywhere in the world. You can take a bottle of stem region and send it to anyone anywhere. So it suddenly brings the power of adult stem cells to anyone anywhere. When the first uh, studies were published, the first observation of the potential of adult stem cells. As we remember, in the early 2000s, the whole excitement was about the potential of embryonic stem cells. It's only later that we discovered that adult stem cells in the body also can have enormous potential. When, when that started to be documented, the first place where most scientists or clinicians went was how can we use these stem cells? How can we take them out from the body and then do something in the lab and then re-inject them in the body? So the focus was harvesting stem cells, tweaking them in the lab in some way, and then re-injecting them in the bloodstream. Over time, we realized that you don't have to do a whole lot to them in the lab. They, you put them in the, in the body, they know what to do, that's what they do, they, they simply repair. So the focus of all my work has been to investigate plants that act as stem cell mobilizers that trigger or support the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. So all of this research has been to document the effect of various plants as stem cell mobilizers. Now that all of this culminates in the formation of stem regen, the next stage right now is to document the link between increasing the number of stem cells in circulation every day by a product like stem regen and the impact of this on various kinds of health conditions. When we talk about stem cell technology, the methods that are being used, the general approach, consists in increasing the number of circulating stem cells through an injection. The cost of this approach, injection of stem cells, uh, and the whole dynamics of it is such that you can only get a few stem cell injections. You need to travel, you need to go to a place where it's done. So what really stem regen brings here is a new approach, which is which I refer to as endogenous stem cell mobilization, the release of our own stem cells. The effect is milder, so we release fewer stem cells, but it is extremely safe to do this over long periods of time. And if anything, I will say that the cumulative effect is actually superior to a stem cell injection. So we are also getting into clinical trials right now to not only compare the two approach, endogenous stem cell mobilization and stem cell injection, but also how they can work in synergy. When we look at what we have today in terms of stem cell technology, in the future of stem cell technology, all the minds go immediately, and rightly so to a large extent, immediately goes to more refined treatments, more refined technology to tap in stem cells, be able to do some sort of genetic manipulation of these stem cells to treat specific kinds of diseases. There's a lot of effort put in that direction. It will continue. However, when we think about it, people who need those kinds of treatments remain a minority in the population, and it's a minority that can afford these kind of treatments. So to me, the greater meaning of stem cell technology and stem cell treatments, or the potential of adult stem cells worldwide, is to understand that every day of our life, we lose cells. Every day of our lives, cells that are lost are being replaced. This is the natural role of your stem cells in your body. So if every day you can release stem cells, 
then every day you help your tissue to repair and renew and over the course of one's life then you prevent the problem from appearing so the impact on society of tapping into stem cells in that way is so huge that to simply be able to say by supporting the release of our own stem cells every day we allow somebody to preserve their quality of life is enormous. So to me, the stem cell message that will be meaningful for everyone in the future is understanding this part of our body, what stem cells do naturally, and to support it and tap into the potential of our own stem cells. You know, oftentimes I, I use the example, uh, 10 years ago, we're climbing stairs three by three, five years ago, two by two, uh, two years ago, one by one, a year ago, one by one slowly, six months ago, one by one slowly, we stop in the middle to catch our breath, and one day we have a heart attack. The problem did not start on that day. We became a heart patient on that day, but the problem did not start on that day. Everything is a slow evolution until the day where the problems start to affect our lives and then we start to notice it. But a lot of things are in development. If we can put more stem cells in circulation and help the body repair before the problems show up, then we can then stay healthy and give that edge to the body to go beyond prevention, but really tap into the ability of the body to be healthy. So it's for anybody who has something that is broken or for anybody who is healthy and they understand what is the real potential of stem cells, they just want to stay that way. So by taking stem regen every day, you give that edge to the body to just stay healthy.